Welcome to the Dress Up Mom. I recently finished condoing my entire condo, every square inch of it. And in this video, I am going to take you through my process and show you my before and after shots. But first, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you are a regular viewer and subscriber, I absolutely love you. Thank you so much. If you are new to the channel and you like what you're seeing, please subscribe. It's just a button. It's here. It's free. And it means the world to me. We are also on all the social media outlets, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at the dress up mom, hashtag the dress up mom, and you can check us out there too. So like many of you, I have been watching the tidying up series on Netflix with Marie Kondo, where she goes and shows her method to people. And I've been really loving it. And it's totally motivated me to take a look at what I was already sort of doing right and what I might be able to improve. And I have to say, I've been slightly obsessed with this. I love her philosophy of sort of being grateful for everything, of knowing what you have, of being tidy with it all and using that to really spark joy and keeping things that spark joy around you. That all resonates to me. My husband and I downsized from a probably 3,500 square foot home with a big garage to a thousand square foot condo with basically no garage or no place to store a bunch of stuff about four years ago. And we've really loved this move. So I went through a big, huge purge when we moved here of a bunch of things. And I've been really good about not buying a whole bunch of other stuff and filling every single square inch of the space here. I'm also, I started about five, six years ago, this process where in the summer, I go through everything in the house, take a look at everything, take it out and purge and get rid of anything that we're not using. So I'm pretty good about that. I'm also really good about keeping the house sort of neat. That's always been my nature. I was the neat knicker in Girl Scouts all the way back. So I like keeping my space neat, particularly anything that is exposed. However, when I really started looking at this process and what I do, I found that in my cabinets and drawers and all of that, it was pretty cluttered and it was not tidy. A couple of things that I learned as I was going through this that might be helpful. First off, I really had hoped or really would have loved to have done this all sort of consecutively. So if I would have had my way, I would have done this all in like a one, two, three weeks period of time where I could just every day go and do it. That's how they do it on the show and I think that's kind of helpful. I had to work it in with other things in my life and a pretty busy life. So it took me a couple months from start to finish to really go through it. And this is again for a thousand square foot condo where we didn't have a lot of excess stuff. It was really mostly organizing that I was doing. I'm somebody who likes to get things done fast. And by doing it the way that I did, things got kind of worse before they got better because as I was going through each phase, you know, you kept things out and I didn't want to buy a bunch of extra stuff. So things were a little bit even more cluttered or disorganized while I was going through it. However, I have to tell you the end result is way, way worth any of that. The biggest area of improvement for me when it came to all of this, the tidying up was to put like things with like things. So what I had found is for some reason when I was organizing all of these cabinets and drawers and things when we first moved in, I had things pretty scattered. So there were like towels in a, three different places in the house. There were also things like electronics and cords spread out in different areas and my bedding and stuff. So I found a lot of frustration and I had to like dig through all the cabinets and drawers whenever I needed to find something. So I found a lot of frustration with that over the years. And I didn't realize how much frustration until now when it's all tidied up. I also waited and went through and did a lot of organizing before I went and bought containers because I didn't really know how I was gonna do all of this. So I thought first about going on the container store website, but it was really just too confusing for me and it's really hard to pick sizes there. So instead I actually trekked out there and you can see, I mean, I had like 
bags and carts of stuff but everything that I bought I used and it was exactly what I needed. I think probably the best thing for me to do now is just to show you each of these spaces a before shot and then an after shot when I finished with it and I hope that maybe this gives you some ideas if you're thinking of doing this method in your home. A lot of work but completely worth it I've been living with this now for a couple weeks and absolutely loving it it makes a bunch of other aspects of my life just so much more enjoyable and it really does spark joy I, I'm telling you it does now that it's all finished and I really hope to maintain it like this and even continue to improve on how I have things organized and tidied up I could talk a lot more about this but I won't I'm curious to know if you all are tidying up or if this maybe inspired you or give you some ideas of how you might uh, declutter and bring a little bit more joy into your life. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it more than you know. Until next time, have fun and dress it up a little.